on the channel we tackle plug welding and the joys that it brings as we clean up the firewall on my 1989 Fox Body Mustang. This build started with subframe connectors just to help out the rigidity of the chassis and then morphed into a complete and total restoration slash build. As you'll see coming along the full and complete story of Stan, my Fox Body Mustang. However, for this edition, we're going to do some plug welding. I'm not a welder. I love to weld. However, I really suck at it tremendously. And plug welding is the bane of my existence. So plug welding is basically taking a hole that's in a chassis and or firewall, what have you, as you'll see here, and plugging it up with welds to make it a flat, even surface to get ready for prep for painting. And for some reason, the previous owners of this Vox body decided they were going to put about 19 gazillion holes all over the body, uh, interior and underneath the fender wells and things like that. For what reason? I have no idea. However, I've had a lot of experience with plug welding, and I still suck at it. When it comes to welding, a good clean surface is always a must, so... When you're starting this process, you simply take a grinder, clean off the area that you're going to be working with, uh, put it down to bare metal, and then once that's done, as you can see in the time lapse here, that you start plugging away piece by piece. Laying one weld in, then moving on to the next one, letting that area cool as much as possible, and then continuing forth and so on until you've got the complete area filled up. Once that's completed, you take a grinder, clean the surface off, if you still have any remaining holes in there that you still need to just touch up, now's the time to do so. After that's done, grind it till it's smooth, and then start with the next project. With all my surfaces prepped, ready to go, I start just making some small tack welds for the most part, just creating a small pool of metal there. Then moving on to the next piece, making sure that I effectively penetrate the metal and uh, also catch everything on fire if I can. It really doesn't take a lot of time to get this done. However, with as many holes as there are in the firewall, it did take uh, quite a bit of welds there. And it's actually not a bad job whatsoever, guys. It's pretty fun to do once you get it done, especially when you see the end result, uh, which may take some time depending on how many holes you are plugging up. But if you take your time, one spot, let that area cool so the metal doesn't warp, and then move on to the next one. I move pretty quickly here just because it's pretty thick material there and I'm not going to have any issues. With all the areas prepped and ready to go, take a grinder out and then uh, start cleaning up the surfaces there, making them as smooth as possible for the most part, and then uh, seeing the results. If you've got any holes left over, come back in, just simply weld them up and then grind them off one more time to see the finished product. Wrapping up our plug welds here as we move on to cleaning up all the paint that's in the engine bay there. So the goal for this build is that we're simply going to remove everything that we can and then also add some body filler in there, smooth it out as, pos as much as possible, and then uh, throw some paint in the engine bay and then come back in and finally uh, throw in the K member, the motor, get everything situated the way we want it to be in there and uh, then focus on the rest of the body.
Now this is the time consuming part, however, just trying to get everything off you possibly can because any nooks and crannies that you can't hit, you got to do by hand. So I'm doing my best here just to knock everything out, get all the paint removed, get it down to bare metal, and then we can start focusing on body filler, smoothing everything out. So more to come next time. Today we're going to continue to remove all the paint and we'll go from there. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down there and I'm happy to answer them. Enjoy the day.